Yo, guys, what's going on? Cliff Jumper 1984, Red Rocks. <clears throat> Your favorite Autobot. All day long, all day strong, like always. Drinking that natty ice. I've been actually trying to shoot this video for like a couple days. Uh, my wife got a new video camera. I've been messing around with it. And finally, everything was ready to go with like setting up lights and trying different things. And the battery fucking died. So I was like, great. But hey, I've got a video game pickup here. It's been a while since I did one. Uh, probably about in the middle of uh, February. So it's been a while. So let's get right to it. Uh, recently, I've been going to Just Press Play. The past two months, they've had all their NES and SNES games that are under the glass, which is the good stuff, for 10% off. So, was, you know, I'm trying to get there as much as I could with what little money I have right now. I'm getting ready, uh, get, uh, excuse me, getting ready to go to the beach soon. Uh, by Game Tech for NES. Classic Concentration. The foil, or the, didn't even open it. The plate, that foil is still on it. $9.99 yeah, is what they were asking for it, so it was 10% off. So I got it for $8.99. Uh, we'll play it somewhere down the road. My Sega Saturn lost its memory, and so it means the battery was bad. So I ordered a battery off of eBay for it. It's a Panasonic, and I didn't pay that much for it. It was like under 3 bucks with shipping and everything. I was going to Walmart to try, and hopefully I'd see it there. And they were just always sold out. And it was a lot cheaper getting it this way, too. So, what the heck. I had to wait a couple days, but... Yeah. For worth with the money I saved for, it's not a big deal. I had off for a couple days at the beginning of April. I had a bit of money saved up to spend on some video games. It was slim picking, but I did find something I wanted, at least. And the sale was still going on at the time. A first game I got by Milton Bradley, and I guess Epix produced it. I know this is on several other platforms. I thought this was one of the games that got stolen from me, and after I booted it up, it wasn't. World Games.
it's it's crap. I mess around with it. It's not fun to play, but whatever. Two ninety nine was the price, and well, I forget what it is with ten percent off that. It's like twenty cents or something like that. Twenty nine cents. By Micro Pros, uh, another NES game. One I've never seen around locally, so it's the only reason I grabbed it right away. It was four ninety nine, so it's like I can't pass this up right now. F one seventeen A Stealth Fighter. F-117A Stealth Fighter. Stealth Fighter, cleared for takeoff. The real Stealth Fighter experience, it says right there on the card. I haven't got a chance to play this one either. We will see. Biggest thing about my trip to the store was there's always a few NES games or Super Nintendo games I go out and look for that I want to see locally instead of buying them online. It's Part of the fun is finding what you're looking for. Even though it's kind of cheap for me, or I should say lazy in a way, because the video game store that I most frequently go to is four to five minutes down the road of my house. Thank you, Just Press Play, by the way. One I've been going for for a while by... Is it Jalico? I feel like I'm pronouncing that wrong every once in a while. For NES, totally rad. <laughs> Ever since I think Game Grumps played this, I've been hooked and been wanting to buy it locally. I didn't want to emulate it, but you know, because looking at it, it looks so good. To me, it's Mega Man like three mechanics, Mega Man four mechanics, because it has a, the charge, but you don't have the slide. With some floaty platforming, as well as a little bit of the Legend of Zelda two magic system in it. Got to pop this in. I've played it two or three different times by now. It's not bad, I, obviously. The difficulty steps up in Stage 2 quite a bit, so I've got a lot of practice to get in this game, but it's enjoyable so far. It was $19.99 and with a 20% off, so I definitely had to get it right there. And I had a slump where I didn't get anything for a while, and just 
I think it was this past Saturday, I went and stopped there again, was looking for a certain Super Nintendo game, I'm looking for Uniracers. And then I did see Legend of the Mystical Ninja, and I really wanted that, and they were asking 50 bucks, and it's like, ooh, it's a little tough. You know, again, that'd be, you know, you get your 20% off, just, it wasn't in the budget this week, but then I did see one on the common shelf that is another one I didn't have, and I kept passing it up because I thought I had it, which, you go back, and I used my phone with NES Hunter and checked my list, and sure enough, I didn't have it. So, for NES, and this one's actually by Nintendo. To the Earth. Six ninety nine again with the twenty percent off, which still has got a couple weeks left of that. And like I shouldn't say a couple weeks, we got about actually six days. But it's a Zapper title, and it is the fastest Zapper title. I played it once, and it's the hardest one I've played. You have to be really fast, and your aim has to be dead on the targets, or just seems so much smaller. You could play the can hitting game on Hogan's Alley. I can hit the targets way better than this. Yes, this game is a little bit, no, I shouldn't say a little bit, it is faster paced than that, but it just seems the targets are just so much bigger on Hogan's Alley. This, again, is a later release in Hogan's Alley, too. But for the price, I couldn't pass it up. It, it was an okay play. I gotta get used to that. That just is so fast. But then again, I had a few beers, too, right? Uh, so what do you think about this pickup? I didn't spend a lot. It's good to get this pretty cheap. Uh, yeah, throw your comment below if you haven't subscribed, and throw a like in this video. Until next time, like always, hey, drink one on me.